Hi class, it's time for another read aloud, and this is another story that a student, Akessa, let me borrow. It's called Alice the Fairy by David Shannon. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard of those stories um, that are like all about the character David, like, no, David, this is the same creator. All right, let's begin. Alice the Fairy. My name is Alice. I'm a fairy. I'm not a permanent fairy. I'm a temporary fairy. You have to pass a lot of tests to be a permanent fairy. I have wings, so I can fly. I can't fly very high yet, but I can fly really fast. This is my magic wand. This is my blanket. Fairies use magic wands to change frogs into princesses, or into princes and things like that. I've changed my dad into a horse. One time my mom made cookies for my dad. So I turned them into mine. <laughs> Did she really use magic? No. I felt bad about the cookies, so I thought I'd whip up a new outfit for my dad. Did I tell you he's the Duke of Morningside Drive? Well, he is. Gold sparkly pants, purplish pinkish shoes, my favorite color, and a plaid velvet shirt. But clothes were too hard, so I made him a new crown instead. With my magic wand, I can make Leaves fall from trees, and I can draw pictures on water. Wow, she's like tracing, running it through the water. Sometimes I use my wand to disappear, but that's kind of scary. I'd rather use my blanket. Of course, I also have a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well, what do you know? It's me, Alice. Thank you, mirror. Fairy dust is very useful. I use it to turn oatmeal into cake. What do you think this is, guys? Sugar. Casting spells is another important part of being a fairy. Watch me make my dog float on the ceiling. Hocus pocus, croakin docus, hawkin talkin, riggin falcon, doggin floggin, biddle noggin. Okay, maybe that one needs a little bit of work. But a fairy must be very careful with magic. Once I accidentally turned my white dress into a red one. That made the Duchess so mad that she locked me in the tower forever. I got away though. <laughs> the Duchess is her mom. A fairy's life is filled with danger. Broccoli is often poisoned by the wicked Duchess and should never be eaten. Fairies also hate baths. I like to turn my bath water into strawberry jello. That would be fun. But I don't know how to do that yet. You have to be a permanent fairy to do tricks like that. They go to advanced fairy school to learn how. I'm supposed to learn how to make clothes, get up off the floor and dance around and line up in the closet. I'm not very good at that, though. Oh, she didn't put her clothes away. I'll probably be a temporary fairy forever. Oh, cute. 
Kids, I like this book because it's fun to pretend. I think that's a very important thing that you can do as a kid and use your imagination. Thank you, Akessa.